What's going on guys, back with another banger video. Today we have the story of how I robbed a plug. Let's hop right into this man, there's no time to waste. So, this takes place in sophomore year. I used to hang out with these kids who were wannabe gangbangers. Everything they did revolved around smoking weed, doing drugs, stealing, robbing, just being dumb kids. I had no, like, I did not partake in it besides this one time, but... They were just stupid ass kids, and I do not recommend hanging out with wannabe gangbangers. They are not smart people, and they will get you caught up. Anyways, so I was hanging out with these two kids, and they were broke as fuck. They were some broke boys, right? So they had no money, but they wanted to smoke. So when you have no money, and you want to smoke, what do you do? You rob somebody. So these two dumbass kids are sitting there. When I have money in my pocket, by the way, all they could have done is just ask me for money, and I probably would have bought them a bag of weed, because I wanted to smoke too. That's why, I like did it so these two kids are going through their snapchat looking at every single plug on their phone and they're going through each plug and they're like this one has a gun that one's got like hard brothers and he's got a lot of homies oh shit this one we don't know like who is this kid oh it's a white boy this is our target so they find this white boy and they're like oh shit like this is the man like i used to go to high school with him and they're like, he's soft, he doesn't got a gun, and we can get a lot of weed from him for cheap. And he won't be sus about, like, bringing, like, an ounce or two. Meanwhile, these kids are trying to rob someone for an ounce. Normally, bro, you don't do that shit for a bow. Bro, you don't know how to play unless it's five bows. You don't know how to play unless it's some shit, bro. They they're trying to rob a nigga for an ounce. <clears throat> so these niggas go ahead and text, bro. And they're like, hey, can you meet us at this dead end? And we're trying to buy, like... I think they said like either four or seven grams like that's how dumb these kids are bro they didn't even try to get more than that so they text this kid and they're like yeah like seven grams for like 45 dollars it was some reggie i'm just saying that right now it was some damn reggie so don't even say anything in the comments i know it was reggie so this nigga's on the way and it's raining it's pouring it's a lightning storm i live in michigan so if y'all know it it's like the fucking you get every season out here and when it rains it comes down bro it rains cats and fucking dogs so I'm just chilling, and they're like, yo, can you, like, drive us to the dead end, and can you be, like, the getaway driver, because, like, you're a good driver. And I've always been a pretty fucking solid driver, even, like, as soon as I got my license, so they are like, be the getaway driver. So I'm like, all right, bet. So we end up going to the dead end, and I ended up knowing this kid, bro. I knew the kid, so I get out of the car to talk to him, and I tell my man's E, I'm like, yo, E, can you drive? Like, you be the getaway driver, and I'm about to just do the, I'm about to rob this nigga. Because what their plan was is he wanted, like, $45, so they were going to put a dollar on top with some fake bills, <clears throat> and then hopefully he just wouldn't notice because it was just, like, the dollar was on top. So, bro, we are in my mom's fucking minivan. I give this nigga the money. He hands me the seven grams. I hop in the backseat of my minivan, bro. This nigga yells, what the fuck? And, bro, my man's E puts it in the drive. And this dude does not have his license, bro. He is not a good driver. He steps on it. And it's pouring raining, bro. So my back tires are spinning out. He starts zooming up and down the side street, bro. Going like 60 miles an hour. He's like, bro, what the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? How do I get out of this? And I'm like, bro, like, pull over. Like, let me drive. And this kid's fucking following us, bro. He's on our tail. So I don't want this nigga to, like hit us or do some bullshit we don't know if this guy's got a gun we're just racing away from this nigga that we just robbed we don't know if he's trying to beat our ass we don't know what the fuck this kid's gonna do we know he's not calling the cops because well we know he's not calling the cops because he's just sold us drugs so we're there just chilling and eli's driving we probably go like two three miles just up and down side streets for like five ten minutes and i'm like bro pull over bro pull over so this stupid ass nigga bro in the middle of the street slams on my brakes shifts it into park as soon as he did that bro we did like look each other in the eye and we switched seats bro and i hopped in the driver's seat and i put that bitch in the drive so fast and i was out of there bro so we started going and we were zooming all around town bro we were going like 100 miles an hour up and down the main road down the side streets curves curves i kept looking behind me i was like no way this nigga's behind me bro i looked behind me that nigga's still right behind me so i don't know what to do bro i'm literally going up and down streets i'm going every single which way i'm fucking cutting niggas off 
So finally, bro, I'm going down this side street and I see there's like a fucking dirt pile or a gravel pile. Like, they, obviously, they had been fixing something. So there's a gravel pile to the right and there's another car coming. And this kid behind me. So only one car can go through. And me and this fucking other car are going, like, playing chicken head on. So I'm fucking going, dude. And I floor it and I fucking go. And then the other car turns, like, to fucking avoid me and goes in the middle of the street and all i see is this dude turns his car like his wheel really fucking sharply and he fucking ended up because there was cones outside the gravel so like niggas didn't like miss it and bro this niggas front tires spun in the gravel he did a little 360 and we just kept going and i ain't never seen that nigga after that bro we blocked him on that we got away with the seven grams we went and smoked like four or five blunts bro we was high as hell know that so yeah, that was the time that we robbed this plug, and he spun out. I hope he was okay, like, I don't know. That's like reckless driving, like, I hope that's not like a charge. I'm not incriminating myself, I promise. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this story time, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the fucking next one.